In this video, I'm gonna talk about 10 add-ons from Alt-Tab, a popular developer in the Blender community. And these add-ons cover aspects ranging from creating water to fog, organizing assets, in addition to automating simple but tedious processes. Let's start with Easy Fog 2, which is a tool for adding atmospheric effects like fog, smoke, and clouds to your scenes. And right now, this add-on is probably the best at what it does. And the interesting thing about this version is that it builds on original Easy Fog, incorporating feedback and features requested from the community. For example, they restructured the controls into clear modules for density, color, and mapping, making adjustments like fog thickness or distribution much more intuitive. And you can select a preset and apply it to your scene in a short period of time placing a fog volume, whatever your 3D cursor is. And I find the pin button helpful because it keeps the fog controls visible while you work, which can save time and prevent some frustration. And generally speaking, this one is a practical in addition to being a user-friendly add-on when it comes to enriching your environments. And if you are into pixel art, you might want to take a look at this one, which is an add-on called Pixel. The add-on is designed for turning 3D models into pixel art, complete with customizable materials and isometric cameras as you can see. And once you set it up, you can adjust lighting thresholds, assign pixelated materials, and even apply textures directly to individual parts of your model. And the way the materials respond, especially to lighting, gives you a lot of flexibility. So whether you are going for a retro game aesthetic or just experimenting with stylized visuals, I think it is a lot of fun when it comes to using this tool and exploring some unique styles. In addition, the workflow feels intuitive, which is a plus. On a side note, the ability to integrate textures smoothly into pixel materials is a small touch, but it makes a difference for customization. Now, I'm going to talk about ocean and water which, as you might expect, is an add-on for creating water, which often feels like a hassle. But this add-on simplifies it with 9 ocean and 9 water shader presets, covering things like calm pools all the way to choppy waves. The gist of it is that it is useful for quickly animated water effects since you can tweak properties like wave settings, resolution, and animation without jumping into complex shader setups. I've played around with adding HDR lighting and depth of field to these shaders, and I think the results look somewhat convincing for something that takes so little time to set up. And the fact that this is a free tool also makes it feel like a no-brainer, so you probably need to take a look at it. Now we're gonna talk about cameras with Alt-Tab Camera. This one brings some interesting functionality to Blender's native camera system, whether it is for adding dirt lenses, bokeh lenses, or both. The 1.2 version lets you turn any camera in your scene into an alt-tap camera, which is great, and this means you don't have to rely on presets anymore, and this makes it easier to work with your existing setup. The user interface has been cleaned up, and now you can find all the basic settings like focal length, depth of field, and clipping all in one place. It also includes filters for bokeh and lens dirt, allowing you to adjust things like blur shape, scale, and other parameters for both the bokeh and dirt among other things, like hue and saturation for the bokeh and colors overlay for the dirt. And one of the useful features is the focal length, which automatically adjusts the bokeh and dirt when switching between lenses, so everything stays consistent without extra steps. And generally speaking, this one is a simple tool that can add practical camera effects without spending a lot of time on setting things up. And talking about setting things up, we have another add-on called Alt-Tab Studio, which feels more like an all-in-one solution for managing your workflow. The add-on brings together tools for lighting, materials, project tracking, and more. For example, the lighting panel includes about 50 presets, along with a random light generator that points light directly at your selected object. So it is a quick way to experiment with different moods. On the material side, there is a manager that lets you clean up and use materials, bulk swap them, or mark them as assets to be used later. Other included features include camera control, and paths for animation, and some utilities among other features. 
like the big picture mode, clicks tracker and so on. And I find the project tracker interesting, since it tracks how much time you spend on a file, which can be helpful for billing or just managing your time better, or maybe just for reflecting on how much time you are spending on a certain area of your workflow, which gives you a nice perspective. Now let's switch gears and talk a bit about Alt Tab Colorful, which focuses on generating gradients and color effects in your scenes. This one feels like it is designed for artists who want to quickly create vibrant, abstract visuals without diving into complex shader nodes. You can actually generate smooth color ramps and apply them directly to objects in your scene, making it pretty neat for things like motion graphics or stylized projects. And I think the simplicity here is a real setting point. It is not flashy, but it is practical. Just what you would expect. And generally, for anyone exploring bold color driven designs, I think this one is gonna be helpful. And if you want to keep your projects organized, which is sometimes a challenge, you probably wanna use tools like Alt Tab Asset Master, which aims to make things easier. It works with Blender's Asset Browser, letting you tag and categorize your assets for quick access. So if you've got a lot of models or textures to manage, or if you are working on a team project, this add-on can save you some serious time. The tagging and search features make finding what you need way simpler, so you don't have to dig through folders. It fits into Blender's asset system, making everything run a bit smoother without the extra hassle. Now back to cameras again with this add-on called Dolly Zoom. And this add-on makes your camera work in a more dynamic way. Basically, it offers a way to create that iconic dolly zoom effect, where the camera moves while adjusting its focal length to keep the subject's size constant. And it adds a dramatic shift to the background perspective, giving your shots a unique feel. Using it is pretty simple. Just place the 3D cursor on a focal point, hit Ctrl plus Shift plus D, and drag your mouse to control the effect. If you add a track to constraint, you can easily try out different angles, which I think is great for experimenting. The add-on also handles the math in the background, so your focal point stays accurate without that extra hassle. And generally, this is a handy tool for spicing your camera effects or camera work without adding complexity to your process. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons from Alt Tab, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.